Hey guys, today we're gonna to be making my Flora Enchantix doll new wings because she didn't come with any. We're officially going to be using my craft room slash doll room as a craft room. This is new, you guys haven't seen it used this way yet. And I've busted out my Cricut machine, which I haven't used in over a year now, so I'm really excited to get back to it. And we are going to be making Enchantix Flora's wings, like I said. Luckily, I made this file years ago genuinely years ago to make Super Fate Enchantix Flora's wings, but we're going to be using this for this doll because they have very, very similar wings. Um, yeah, so basically all I did was I took each individual color on the wings and I made a separate file for them. And these are actually sized for the giant Enchantix Flora, so all we need to do from here is just make them smaller. And this... That's about a good size. I'll make them a little bit bigger and then we are all set to go. So yeah, the next thing we need to do is select materials. So I've already gathered the plastic I'm gonna use. I actually don't have the plastic I used to use. I ran out. So we're just gonna be using doll boxes. These wings aren't going to be super see-through so I'm not worried about scuffs. And we're gonna go through first my scrap materials bin to see if we have any that would work well. And then we're gonna go through my new rolls to see what colors we want to use. The next step is to choose the materials that we're going to be using. So I have a photo of the actual doll. The stock photo is a bit more vibrant than it's supposed to be, but it gives me an idea at least. And I really like how undetailed these are. I know that seems counterintuitive, but I really like having different interpretations of the dolls. So I'm going to be basing Flora's wings off of Aisha's wings because Aisha is my favorite in this set. And I'm honestly not the biggest fan of how the actual wings look. Um, so I don't really want to make them. All right, so we're actually going to be using three different materials, actually four, but three different colored materials. So we're going to be using a gray color to mimic what's going on in between the colors of Aisha's wings. We're going to be using a green color, just like on the actual wings, and I'll show you how we're gonna do that. And then we're going to be using a pink color. And there's also an overlay. So let me show you. This is our overlay and this material took me so long to find and it's very hard to get and as you can see this is a terrible amount of it but it's the same stars as Aisha has which is super exciting and it looks so beautiful on the dolls so I'm really excited about that one and then we're potentially going to be using this. I'll see if I like how it looks. The reason we're using this is because I really want the gray color and this, it's not white, it's see-through. So we're going to use this on the back so that we can overlay it. Um, but if I don't like it, I can just do without it. And then we have this pink material. I do have a more magenta color, which is more accurate to the actual design, but I think it looks kind of ugly, honestly. So we're gonna be changing it. And then we have this green color. It's kind of meant to be a little bit more vibrant and you can see here that it's a completely different green, but I think this is gonna look better. And this is my doll and my project so I can do what I want. All right, so I have edited the file a bit so that now there's a hole here. And the reason for that is because that's where I want the gray to show through. So basically the gray is going to be the bottom layer and it's going to just be there. I don't need to cut out anything for it. And then the green is going to go up top and the green is slightly see-through so it'll still have that starry look to it. But then we're actually going to be applying the clear overlay stars over the green so that it shows better. And it will also add those overlay stars to the gray material because the overlay stars are a bit different than the gray material already has. And I'm going to double check because if I have a metallic color that doesn't have stars, I'd prefer to use that. And then this top layer is going to be glitter and that mimics how this is actually a chunky, like three-dimensional glitter on the actual doll. All right, I'm excited. Let's get Everything's started. Everything's set. I just have to load the material and press start. And it'll take a second and it's gonna get started. The pink part of the wing is done and I think the sizing is super good and I really like the colors, so I'm happy to proceed from here. Next is the green part and this is going to be basically the background and this is four total cuts, so this part's going to be very quick, so I can't really give you a time lapse. You saw how quick the time lapse was on the pink one, so yeah. And then the other two materials, should we choose to use both or just one? Depends. But these don't need to be cut with the Cricut, you'll see. And here it is doing the cuts. It's hard to tell what it's doing because of the type of material, but it's working hard. 
I wanted to test out the look of this real quick and I think I'm gonna proceed with it. I really specifically like how it looks over the green. It's not obvious that the stars in the background are not the same as the ones on the overlay. When it's directly over the overlay, it doesn't look as good, but I still think it looks fine. So I think this is gonna look really cool. I'm excited. And now I can just peel those right off so that I can use this material. And the way I do this actually to make this way easier is that I just apply everything directly onto this, which is going to be like the background material and then cut them out from there and then just pull them all off as one big sticker and apply them to the plastic, which I'll show you. Now we're going to assemble the wings. So instead of doing it onto the plastic immediately, I do it onto the back layer, if there's a solid back layer and there is in this case. So this is the back layer and then this is going to be on top of that like this. And then we're going to put this material and then we're gonna put this pink material. Alrighty, so for this material, I don't really think we need to use transfer tape. Transfer tape is an extra consideration um, when you're doing these. You have to use that, which is annoying sometimes. Anyway, uh, the way I'm going to do this is like this so we get minimal bubbles because bubbles are super annoying. All right, so hold on. It, when there's a moving part like this, it can be a little tricky to get it where it needs to go. Okay, now... Very carefully <laughs> place this down where it goes. There we go. And no bubbles yet, so we're doing well. And then put that right down. So, beautiful. You'll see. Once it's all put together, it'll make sense. And then this material next, we're going to do the exact same strategy for this one. This is actually a film, so it's not vinyl. So you would never, ever, ever want to use that transfer tape on it because it would, like, actually destroy it. All right, I know it's hard to tell, but I swear that material is on there. Okay, so now, I know it's gonna be a subtle effect, but it's an effect I really wanted included. Now we're gonna be using our transfer tape. I reuse this stuff. I use the Strong Grip Cricut transfer tape. I don't normally like to use the like name brand stuff because why would you pay more for the same product? But in this particular case, like this is what you need to use. I've looked up alternatives to this that other people swear by and nothing works this well for this long. Uh, but I I haven't done a lot of Cricut stuff in the past like two to three years. So honestly, maybe things have developed since then. Um, but I still have a ton of this stuff left over because it actually comes with your material a lot of the time, which is great. And you can reuse this for a long time, which is awesome. Anyway, so you want to make sure your glitter is nice and stuck to it. There it is. And we're going to very carefully line this up now. Usually you have to do a lot more alignment, but because this one only has the one spot, it's going to be a lot easier to line up, which is great. And perfect. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. We even have that really cute green background around it, which I really wanted. And I'm not going to push down too hard because I don't want the transfer tape to pull on the other material too much because it can actually cause bubbles and that's really annoying. Okay. So let me... You can keep the backing that your transfer tape came on and then do that. Sometimes I just stick it to my Cricut machine or my desk or something, though. Like, I really don't care enough. Okay, so looks good. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Yay! I'm so excited. All right, so now I'm going to do the other wing off camera. All right, y'all. Here she is on the shelf with the others. I am so pleased with how these turned out. I... Love that I have the same material that they used for that star pattern because I just love that star pattern so much. And I don't think it's immediately obvious that I made those wings myself, which is great. I just, I like making custom stuff a lot, but for this particular display, I really want them all to have original or at least original looking stuff. So I'm really happy with this. I also actually have the new Witty Toys version of this because there's also new Witty Enchantix, which is the exact same except they have different faces. <laughs> um, I just don't have her wings, so I need to still make her wings. So if you guys liked this video and want to see another one, let me know and we'll try to make Aisha's. Hers seem a little bit more difficult, but I think I can do it. I'm really happy with this. Let me know, by the way, who your favorite of these Enchantix dolls are. I know they're not the best. Like, obviously, they don't have... Oh, she's missing her shoe, by the way. I know they don't have all the details that other Enchantix dolls have, but I really like them. I find them charming for that reason. And unfortunately, they never finished the, the old witty set, but... Musa and Tecna did come out for New Witty. They were China exclusive, and I love these a lot. They're so beautiful. Bloom kind of fell over. Sorry, the wing shelves are not in uh, great shape. I'm waiting on stuff to work on them again. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Also, I attached them to her back with poster putty. Not ideal, but it, it sticks well.
I actually use it for like all of my Winx wings to attach them, to be honest. And that's what the backs look like. It's honestly not jarring that it's a completely different star pattern. And I know it's like, obviously it's nice when like the wings are fully see-through or they're fully double-sided. Like always that's ideal. Like, like that, you can see stuff on both sides. But honestly, I find, because the China exclusive ones are the ones that mostly do this, or at least that's where I was introduced to it. I just find it so pretty. It's so satisfying and pretty, and I just love it. So her, she needs her hair fixed. I'm sorry, guys. So yeah, that's it for this video. For real this time, thanks so much for watching. Bye.